Aloha Nui and Shalom. Welcome back to the Code Searcher. I am Jonathan and to, I want to get right into a update for you guys. Um, there are no thermal Im recent thermal imaging uh, of the current fissures that are going off on Kapili Street and are flowing actual rivers. Huge pools of lava and actual f flowing rivers of very hot fast moving lava. Um, if we take a look at the USGS map, you'll see what I'm talking about here. In this general area uh, has become increasingly active over the past several days. Uh, formerly, the action was further up, or excuse me, down the rift around 22, 20, and even as far out as 17. Uh, but now the trend is, it seems like everything is shifting and backing up further up the rift. Uh, as you can see, maybe we can get a little further. How about that? Um, PGV, guys, is uh, in this general area right here. Um, this whole compound in yellow. Let's see, well, let me move it. This whole compound is outlined in yellow. You see, um, part of it has um, lava intruding on it. But there's no reason to panic at the moment. Uh, and I'm not going to minimize the situation. Because there is a risk, somewhat. Um, the situation with the wells and where they are is, is approximately um, this area right here. And it's really hard to, to know for sure on this map. We'll look at the other one to be for sure. But uh, it's, it's an uphill uh, battle for the lava, which is not beyond the realms of this, guys. We've experienced firsthand the dynamics and the the way this thing flowed, just standing on the ground and witnessing ourselves. That lava will actually go uphill if there's enough volume pushing it. That's right, it will go uphill. So we are monitoring as everyone is this situation. Could be very serious, um, but we are praying against it. You can see here the crater system that I was talking about from a former eruption. Uh, that it seems like the lava is going around because uh, it go, it's a cone. It goes up and then down, but it goes down very deep, as, as you can see over here on Google Earth. Uh, this particular crater we're talking about. Let's zoom in. That's a deep hole, guys, and it would hold a lot of volume. There's another, uh, looks like on this side, but it's three or four there. Um, but it looks like the lava is going around and pooling down, further down. It would be nice to see it, I guess, pooling in there um, and stop that flow. The fissure is running, and you can see PGV right here. That fissure is running from approximately right there all the way through about right there. I think it's safe to say um, where that is. Let's take a closer look at, um, so those fissures would be approximately right in here. All of this air area is devastated. It's completely gone. It is under several feet of lava. Guys, I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's, it's truly something to behold, um, this, this immense power. Uh, all of this area is just devastated. Um, you can see on this map here, all of these lighter areas, these structures in here, guys. I'm going to put the link down below that you can see this. This is an interactive map. It's updated every day. Mahalo to the people working on this map, by the way. It's immense an amount of, uh, of data collection. Um, shout out to you guys. I'm a map guy. Statistics, data is kind of my thing. And I'm one who, first of all, appreciates this kind of thing. And so... Uh, thank you for putting it out there so we can share it and keep people informed. Uh, Brother Victor's house is in this area. Um, you may have seen Brother Victor on some of the news, uh, especially uh, interview with Ikaika. Um, he is now cut off completely. Uh, this is a, is a higher area, guys. Um, you actually have to come uphill to get there, and then it's all down here right there. This is where we saw the lava grow and come uphill. Especially Fisher 5 down there, 
um, you may see the intense 4K video. I'll put a, a link to that also down below. This is that Fisher 5 before it turned into the mountain of lava. Um, huge cone structures all through there. Um, but you can see that video and how, how quickly that progressed. Um, but as I said, this whole area is virtually cut off. Um, we witnessed fissures 1, 23, 4, 3, 14, and 21. Um, documented that. We have video of that uh, being uploaded and already uploaded. Uh, also, fissures 21, 7, 2, 8, and the uh, Nohia action that started up, as you'll see in the um, aerial that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to show you the immense amount of pooling that's taking place up here and how these are, are flowing like rivers, especially down this way. It's breaking down the other side of, of the rift. It's, as we speak, spoke before, it's like a hinge. Uh, so <coughs> it's going down the other way. And as you can see there, that's where PGV's wells are in that area. So um, the other thought is that uh, it will follow the flow down into, um, well, I guess the unoccupied area of PGV, unfortunately. Um, it's going in this direction. And, uh, yeah. So that's, that's our concern. And uh, civil defense is doing an outstanding job keeping everybody informed, literally, by the hour, um, every day. Um, Mayor Kim, every day, posting, keeping everyone informed. Um, the Hawaiian police officers and the National Guard are working around the clock. Shout out and mahalos to those guys. Uh, you are you're outstanding. You, you're just amazing that you're protecting these people. You're keeping everything secure. Um, and every time we've encountered you guys behind the lines, documenting this, you've been uh, the utmost professionals and uh, very compassionate and understanding. Um, we've witnessed firsthand. So back to what's going on, guys. Um, I want to show you some footage of the Fisher action that started up down in the Nohea area, a lot of gas, you know, measuring anywhere from something like 10 parts per million all the way up to 60 parts per million, even above that, uh, flashing a couple of times, immense amount of gas. But I want to take you over to the video of that whole Fisher line. First, you'll see a, a, a shot from, you know, a couple of miles away that, that kind of gives you an idea of the length of this whole area that you're about to see very close up. Uh, so let's play. I will walk you through that on what's going on. Again, you are watching the Fisher area around Kapili Road. This is also the, the flow, the backflow that was uh, of some concern that would virtually uh, cut off Brother Victor over there. Here, here it is. Um, we'll allow the craft to get to position, and then I will pause it and kind of point out the different, different rivers here. Uh, first is the flow back toward um, Kahukai and uh, Brother Victor's house over here. You can see fissures down further. It's this, this whole line extends way down past. Uh, PGV is right here. Um, and, and as I said, the immense amount of pooling up on top of this thing. I'll just let the video run and narrate as I need to. Here's a close-up of that fissure, I believe it is. I want to say seven. No. It is so hard to keep these things <laughs> uh, straight. First of all, let me just say, if I missed mess up and misreference one of these please forgive me it is extremely difficult to keep track of 22 fissures that are going off simultaneously okay uh again the the, the pooling that is up there this is a lot of metric tons of of lava it's flowing down t toward kahukai 
uh, PGV is, is there with the light. So you can see this is fast moving, hot lava going that direction. So let's continue on. Spectacular shots for those teams working on the ground. Shout out to Rogue One Aerials of Kona for providing um, this amazing footage. Here's a close-up of that very same uh, fissure. I think he was trying to get in and get the detail of the, the lava lake that's up top. Uh, it's hard to get that perspective when you're standing down below because you're about 8 feet under, maybe 10 feet under that on the ground level. Amazing. It is simply stunning in its natural beauty, both destructive and creation at the same time. Um, we are sensitive to those people that lost their homes and are losing everything. Um, but at the same time, it's a beautiful thing to behold. Uh, this is how Hawaii was created, folks. I spoke about it before that I saw the creator in a vision stick his finger down to the bottom of the sea and said, my name is a strong tower. And here we are with this beautiful place called Hawaii. Let me just back up. It's very interesting that the Hawaiians pronounce it Hawaii because that's a Hebrew thing. V, the Vav involved with the W, clearly a connection to the tribes of Israel. Neighborhood Nanavali, again, with the Vav sound. If you're not uh, familiar with this channel, I teach Hebrew in a, in a code methodology course. We search ancient scriptures um, for hidden codes. Amazing to behold this. <clears throat> the sounds are incredible. The earth rumbles and shakes. Uh, fissures going off, pumping gases out burping as i like to call it um, you can feel it you can smell it um, the burning the brimstone kind of smell the sulfuric smell um, never witnessed anything like this in my life uh, this is a unique unique thing to my life and uh, this is why we're documented i know that my channel has other content um, but I believe because of our proximity and uh, the nature of this being a very serious news-worthy event, um, I felt obligated because I have several, maybe 1,000, 2,000 Hawaiians and people that live in Hawaii or live on the mainland and have land here or they, they, they live here part-time and live... So many scenarios, but many people are concerned of what's going on. Are their family members safe? Uh, is Hawaii safe? Is their, their land and their house still there? Um, I've had over a dozen people message me wanting uh, me to confirm whether or not their home was still there. So, um, And we do not charge a dime for doing that. Now the camera is panning around so you can get an idea of the... Of the the river that's flowing, look at how, how fast that lava is actually flowing out of there. This is a, a lot of lava, guys, that's heading down. That's going down toward Kahukai, toward PGV. I mean, look at the volume that is just pumping out of that every second. Um, for, for a month now, this has been going on. Amazing. We'll just let it roll. Please share this video, folks, as much as you can. That's a beautiful shot there. Let's just pause that. And take a look at that river um, flowing toward Kahukai and is, has crossed over. By this point, it had not crossed over. This was the buildup to that event and is still um, increasing in, in um, its size. You can also see this back flow toward Kapili. This has now pushed all, I mean, where I was at and where we were in this location, um, and there was a team of us up and down it, you can no longer get there. It is now under lava, and there's several, you know, we had to come, you know, the, the 
following follow-up that we did is we were several meters in the other direction away from this location. And again, just beautiful. You can see the breakouts of rivers going into the other direction. The, this, the other side was going toward the sea. Now these are the fissures down on the Nohea all the way down at the end. Uh, let me pause that and give you an idea of what we're talking about down here. These fissures um, began to, and I think that will be the trend, is you'll see it moving back up the mountain, splitting and probably crossing over. Um, steam vent in and if that happens guys you down south those of you property owners down south in, in ocean view I, I think that would be when uh, the concern of lava would would come into effect which has happened before in 1955 this same area was devastated uh, a little bit further down um, toward the sea as you could see that line here was the 1955 line this is right above it just runs right parallel to it. Um, so again, the footage you're about to see is is this area right here. This is the birth of um, new activity. Before this, it was really gases coming out of this area. Um, now, to date, this area is very active. And uh, this whole rift is opened up uh, basically um, from here all the way to here and further. Because as you'll see the camera pan around, um, all the pooling is just happening to the far left out of the, the camera's sight. Uh, the, by the way, these lights that you see down on the ground. Uh, this is actual lava flowing here, but this is not lava. This is actual people <laughs> that are filming and recording on the ground. I being one of them. As he pans around, you'll see what I'm talking about. As these fissures uh, is is really in line, one ginormous line that, that goes from. That point and Leilani all the way down to Lower Puna into Kapoho. All in a line. Great shot of that pool that is, for the most part, flowing to the sea, guys. That's a good thing. Hope, you know, th th over to this side would be the craters that I showed you on the map. Uh, if it flowed into there, maybe it would, you know, save some of those that are down stream bear them uh you know less of a burden maybe i don't know well, what can you do in a situation like this just but behold it all right so uh, the pooling is going in that general direction and forking and going down kahukai and back up kapili um and in every direction this took out many houses many homes in this foreground that you cannot see where we're taken out four or five of them um, this is the lava flowing down toward the sea. You cannot see the sea, but it's approximately right there. Uh, is a little bit further down the hill there. So we got one, two, three. So that's four, basically. Four fissures there. Two there. Uh, and further up, you cannot see, maybe you can, <laughs> way up here. Uh, I think that is 21, 20, maybe. It's so hard to keep it straight, guys. But they're, they're basically running this direction all the way around. This is PGV here, guys. Um, and this hill and down below the line of sight you can't see there uh, is PGV. Basically, this whole area here. Surrounded by... Lava. Who would have thought? A 
again, Mahalos to Rogue One, Ariel's Hakona for assisting and for getting this information out and not even, not asking for a dime. Amazing. Who would have thought there'd be, you know, journalists and researchers on the ground, not in it for the money. And wow. So let's take a look at that. As you can see, that snakes around. Those two fishers are feeding this down that way. Brother, brother, uh, Victor's house is over in that area somewhere. Uh, other fishers on, on the other side of PGV as well as the ones very close to it there. Um, hard to get a perspective with low light conditions there. Wow. Great shot of the Pahoy Hoi lava flowing in every direction, for the most part, toward the sea. Wow. You just awestruck in... Uh, the destruction again back to the other side um, just to the right of that and those fissures are more active starting to really rumble and groan we were down there filming that from the ground um, and then back to the uh, the other side just look at that that's a that's a lot of volume coming out of there guys a lot New land, this is how Hawaii's been created. Every island. Matter of fact, if you follow the island chain all the way up to the Aleutians from the seafloor, you can see that this, uh, this pattern of this hot spot on the ocean floor has created all of this. And here we see the youngest of the, of the volcanoes, Kilauea, on the east rift, doing its thing. It's amazing. To watch thank you for sharing the video guys please subscribe if you haven't already like the video hit that bell if you haven't you'll get the notifications as soon as whatever I got comes out or if we go live when I can go live again um, you will be one of the first to know it's amazing how steady that shot is Shout out to Andrew Hara, also working day and night, guys, to bring you up-to-date footage and still shots of what's going on. You can see on the interactive map, the link is down below. You can click on each one of those and, and get a view that Andrew had in that moment. Thank you, Andrew, for your contribution. And you can see there, it looks like there's a breakout about to happen. And these areas um, where the crusted over lava is, the hotter lava breaking through and moving uh, down, as you can see there, oozing out there, as well as here. It'll start, and it has moved several feet an hour. Oh, wow. Look how liquid that is. This is not like the, the lava we first saw come out. Very sticky, very viscous. This is very fast moving, hot, hot lava. Amazing. Again, guys, this is right here on Kapili Street. Um, it's approximately five or six fissures and, and approximately four more to the right of the shot. All very active right now. They virtually merged to one ditch that's opened up. Um, 
doing this. Amazing. I'll put the unnarrated uh, version of this. Some of you may want this to view this without me yakking, right? So I'll put a version of this up without all of my commentary. Uh, but for the for those that want to know specifically what area this is, because they may have a home under it, guys, that's why I'm doing this uh, for their benefit. There's some people that want to know exactly where this is in reference to where their home was. Our prayers are with those families and all of all of Puna um, in this hard time. It's amazing to see this community come together um, with such love for one another in this time. Uh, you know, the, this, these kind of times that bring the best of people, that brings the best of them out of them. Sometimes it also brings out the worst of people, but for the most part, we see good things. And then there's a close-up of that. You can see the breakouts of the higher lava from the crusted over stuff. And this did eventually flow back. Um, there is a somewhat of a berm that's built or building here. And as you can see, it runs all the way around. Um, that is eventually overtopped and, and spills this way. Uh, and that's what's happened. The flow that's going toward Kahukai, it, that's what happened is uh these pools got so full that it did tough one side and just overtook it we witnessed it firsthand as it was happening amazing all right guys i'm going to um break out of it right here and wrap this up because quite frankly youtubers don't like to watch videos that are too long so i won't make it too long i will put the long version the full version of that down um, where you can see it all right so that's your update for 527 aloha and shalom see you in the next video